Welcome to World of Marketing Podcast, a Foster Web Marketing production. Here's your host, Tom Foster. Hey, everybody, it's Tom Foster, and here it is on the World of Marketing. And we got a special show today. We got our own Molly McCormick. Look how lovely she is today. With her new hair. It's her special World of Marketing hair today. Mm-hmm. Did it just for I this? I, I, know, I like it. So, uh, and it's a special day because it is your uh, big project that we are announcing on the world of marketing, which is the DSS training center, which you've been working on for a long time. Very long time. Yes. This is a, uh... We've stopped and started this project a number of times because we didn't, ironically, we didn't have the right tools to talk about the right tools. Very meta. So we over have the right tools. Software, over multiple systems, multiple, mm-hmm. right, yes. So like a couple years. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time coming. So what is it, what exactly is, First of all, just in case anybody doesn't know, what do you do around here at Foster Web Marketing, Molly? Um, I'm the director of marketing. So my job is to do for Foster Web Marketing what we do for clients and what we teach clients to do. Yeah, and a little more. Summarized. <laughs> that's right. It's a tough job. I like it. And this DSS training center is a little bit kind of like um, not a little bit different, a little offshoot of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So obviously, you know, DSS is designed to be this really robust all in one marketing software solution for our clients, for attorneys and doctors. And it is really robust and there are so many features and there are so many cool things that we add on a regular basis and we do make an effort to communicate that to clients but if you miss it you may not know it's there and so the goal of the training center is really to give you a place where you can access information and tutorials and how-to videos on your own and also learn about the new features, learn how to use them, know that they're there in the first place. And then we're also doing a lot of um, kind of group sessions where there's open-ended communication. We can talk to you, you can talk to us, ask us questions, we'll show you how a new feature works. And um, yeah, there's a forum too, so that clients can communicate with each other, which I think is really important to be able to talk to other people in your industry who are using these systems and how are they doing it successfully and what's working for them, what's not working for them, that sort of thing. So I think it's going to be very helpful. It's really cool. I think so. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward and you wouldn't think it would take us so long to find the right system to help people do these things, but it was, yeah, a challenge getting where we got and now we're here and I'm excited about it. Can you show us? what it looks like? I think so. Let me see. So everybody has access to this. And what do we do? We send them logins or we're going to provide login. There's a login in DSS, right? You just, there's a, you're going to show them that. There's a link there in is. DSS. I will show you. Yeah, right here, how you can get to the training center. So um, once this is launched for everyone, which we plan to do in the next week, we have a small beta test group checking things out right now. Um, But once it's launched for all of our clients, you can access it. You just click on help and support training center and it will take you right here to the training center. There's obviously three different training components. One of them is the DSS training and how to guides. And this is really the kind of extensive in-depth information on how to use the different pieces of DSS. We've tried to make it easy for everyone to use. You can get kind of more in-depth information, longer format training videos about kind of overview stuff for different parts of DSS. And then there's really specific detailed shorter videos 
this better. I am just trying to set up a form and add a tag to that form. I don't need you to go through the entire campaign process. Just teach me that one, that one piece. And so we have that as well. So it's a lot of information. It's going to be, you know, ongoing stuff that we're adding over time. You can always come back and find new videos. We're going to be updating stuff as we go because we've already recorded videos and then released new features that we now have to re-record, <laughs> which is fine. That's great. I'm happy to uh, need that. It's good to be able to add this stuff for people to access and figure out how to use it on their own time and not have to wait for Joanna or Cole or someone from customer service to be available to walk them through it. So I think this is helpful. There's obviously the marketing growth plan training where you can go through and learn about how to implement the different sections hey, of the marketing can I, growth plan. Before yeah. you get, can I interrupt you? Why well, you always got to interrupt me? <laughs> yes. Okay. Before you get on to the marketing growth plan, which is awesome. That's one of my favorite things, as you know, so the training and how to guides, that's like a lot, a, a list. So if, if, can you go back to that for a minute? Yeah. Now, if I'm like, want to know how to do something and it's not in here, can I request to have it done? Oh yeah, please. That's, we're hoping to get, this whole thing is meant for clients to find it useful. Like it's great for us to have as a company, just to have kind of a reference point. But so for if us, I don't this is find really what I'm, if I don't find, I'm sorry to keep interrupting you, Molly, but if I don't find okay. easily what I'm looking for here, how do I get it? Well, so first of all, search? you can always, so sorry, repeat your question. <laughs> So if I'm like on this, like if I look on this list and I'm like, hmm, I don't see what I'm looking for. Do I go to search? It's a great question. I actually don't know. Well, that's great. I'm glad we just like, so if we. Yes, look at that. Yeah. Huh. What a cool feature. <laughs> okay, but if it's not there and if I want it. Mm -hmm. Let's say if it's not there, if I want to, you know, like image side compression or something. Sure. Very, um, can, how do, can I, um, maybe we should add a link or something that says suggestion box or something. Or maybe sure. There, something that. No, that's a great idea. Um, and probably what I would do is put that as a discussion topic. So we can have a suggestion box here in the discussion center. And if you have suggestions, obviously reply to that, say, Hey, I'm looking for this one training. I didn't find it. Can you yeah. do a training on it? Yeah. Cause we always talk about new stuff, you know, internally, mm -hmm. you know, just like what you were talking about a minute ago, how you're responsible for marketing of FWM. And we're always talking about that stuff. And as we have our, SEO meetings now, our new SEO meetings were like, wow, oops. Uh, we got to do a little better there. Um, anyway, it's good to, and we're like, oh, we should do a training video about that. That's kind of a, a nit that people want to know about. And then we add those into here as we learn as well. Yes. And the, whatever suggestions people have, we want to hear them because yep. this is meant to be a useful tool for clients. So, so. so we'll have a place for that in the discussions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll put a suggestion box in there. People can just add their comments on, this is what I'd like to see more of, or can you provide an in-depth video on this? Or, hey, I noticed you didn't have a training video on this. So um, yeah. So what is the 6% at the bottom of that? So this is telling me how much of the DSS training uh, lesson I have completed. So I have gone the standard content fields and bio pages training sections, um, and it's telling me the progress that I've made. So this works on a per client basis. So everyone from your office who accesses the training center is going to contribute to that progress bar. So this is progress that you're making as a team in order to kind of train yourself on DSS and get through these different pieces. So if you have a few people working in DSS, this is a great way to see, oh, look, people are learning how to use the different pieces of it and they're making progress there. 
if you have one person, this is a good opportunity for them to go through all of it if, if that's what they need to do and see what sort of progress they can click make. On a de click on detail, like click into one of the pages. And so like you, you, we would both be logged in under FWM. And so if I logged in, mm -hmm. then it would contribute to the 6%. Right. And if I looked at a different post, a different training, then maybe next time it would say 8%. And it, right. would keep, and it keeps track by checking off. So you could have a team of people like, okay, you do this and you do this and you do this. You could right if you want people. someone to be like right you manage the campaign section in dss you manage the content in dss you work does on know, does it keep track of who did what it does not keep track of who did what it's a oh. because it's per client so it's everyone contributing to the same common goal so yeah the goal is basically we have a training video and then there's um content that also explains how to do these different things so that you can learn how ever works best for you. And obviously you can always contact our customer service team still. There's no, this is not gonna replace anybody. So play this video a little bit. Oh no. Okay, hold on. We'll see this one. <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. Under campaigns and emails in DSS, you will find the tags, offers, and forms section. Tags can be applied to forms, campaigns, and contact records. Okay. There you go. So it plays right in there, and you can learn mm -hmm. how to do, in this case, offers and forms in DSS. Mm -hmm. So scroll down in this page for me. So this one doesn't have the content added. This is just a video that explains mm -hmm. it. And we're still building this out. So there will be content so you can read how to do it if that's your preferred learning style. But yeah, that's the goal is to have information for everyone based on how they learn. Videos, content, and then of course, human interaction. Yeah, we'd li really like to make this you know, very user driven. Um, it is for you, as I always say with DSS, it is for you that we create DSS. It is, it lets you do everything. And this, these are the training and teaches you how to do it. So you don't have to call and ask every time. Um, you still can, obviously you can send in a ticket uh, tickets at Foster Web Marketing, ask Joanna or Cole or customer support, whoever. We have lots of people to help you always. Um, but Molly and her team have done a great job here at putting this together and we'll continue. And um, I love the progress meter. I love just keeping track of it, but we're always going to be adding to it. So you're never really going to be done. It's a journey. Um, remember that and it's not uh it's it's not a race um the only race is to you is with yourself really uh and you know you want to have your goals pretty clear um there's a lot of things going on i mean this is just a very small slice of the pie right i mean yeah there's a lot that we're doing in dss every day too where about to release a new feature for filtering out who's receiving campaign emails, which is something that we've, you know, implemented a, this is what we think we need. And it, it's something that you learn after the fact, once you start utilizing that feature, like, okay, maybe we can improve this. And so that's the goal of the training center is not only to teach you how to use what we do have, but then for you to tell us, hey, it would be great if this feature did this as well, and then we can see what's possible, implement it, and then retrain you on how to use it once we have implemented that feature. It's interesting, and I want the, the everybody that's listening and, and watching, and if you're listening, I'm just going to explain it. 
how this is organized and I want you to scroll down Molly as I do this because it's important um, as marketing, you know, we're marketers and that's what we're teaching here. And um, we're the world of lawyers and doctors and most businesses, quite frankly, are seduced and addicted to page one ranking and at, at all cost and keywords at all cost and just throw in a ridiculous amounts of time and energy and money on pay-per-click and organic ranking for the keywords and traffic for these things that get them no real good clients and usually not really what they're looking for. So in this example, I just want to show your listing and the priority order here because uh, one is your website is very important um, be, for a variety of reasons. But one is uh, your website is your brand. And uh, now everyone goes to your brand no matter what. And as a lawyer and a doctor, what kind of professional you are, everyone's gonna search for your name and your brand no matter what. So your website is critical. And so for it to function 100%, uh, is critically important and for you to pay attention to that functionality is critically important and that's what DSS does so I love the way that you just got the basics boom so training on the basics navigation content contacts and feedback um, campaigns and emails are critically important because it is called DSS dynamic self syndication and that is syndicating your website to your list your list is the most important part of your marketing. It is your lifeline. It is your blood. It is your family, your list. And it is the one thing that will sustain you. Uh, Google is the land of unknown. Um, I'm not saying that you're, you're, you won't get business from there if done the right way, but not at the expense of forgetting your list. So, um, I love just having that right there as the next thing, campaigns and emails. So great job, marketing director, on your ordering. So, oh, and then you. you've got leads and reports because you have to have analysis and you have to know what's working. Duh. And that's, your, that's knowing where, uh, where your marketing is working and what isn't marketing, what isn't working. I think these are also really, um, I think that the emphasis is understood when people first join us and they get access to DSS. They're like, yeah, okay, I agree with what you're saying. I, I hear what you're saying. And then they get into DSS and maybe set up one automated email or one automated campaign, or they start to track their leads one time. And then they just kind of let it fall to the wayside as other things take priority. But this is really, you, you have this piece of software for those reasons, and it's so important to actually utilize that an, on an ongoing basis. And I think that there's, this whole process of creating the training center has been really helpful for us, I think, because it's pointed out gaps in our own processes that we didn't really think about before because we just had the option to add them. And it was like, great, we have that, but we're not using it the way it should be used. So it was an eye opener for us to see like, okay, yeah, there are a lot of options here and a lot of features here that were made to make our marketing better and your marketing better and why not use them? You have access to it. We do everything perfectly. <laughs> no, but okay, you're right. And um, I love, but that's the thing is like knowing where there's holes or where there's gaps or where you can do better and improve. And so knowing where your, um, your best leads are coming from, uh, knowing that's the better place to spend money and effort and time, um, you know, it, it is a uphill battle for organic SEO and even, you know, pay-per-click and a cost. Um, you can have some early success, but it's gonna cost some money. Um, and and you've got to continue to feed that beast you know once you get going and and i'm not totally against doing that sometimes you need to do that it's just a matter of it's just what you got to do in in the world of marketing 
there's other ways to do it though. Uh, those other ways require a little bit more effort. Um, and those are uh, emails and campaigns. Uh, but you have a list. You have a list of clients and people that you've worked with that know you and love you. And those people are way easier to market to uh, than people in Google that don't know you. So you writing, you know, hey, here's my new website. Uh, remember me. Um, I'm your lawyer for life kind of email. Uh, welcoming them and letting them know that you can be their legal advisor on, on anything that they need. Um, and here's a link to your new book will serve you way better and get you way more business right off the bat than adding a blog post about, you know, car accidents and expect to rank for, you know, Pittsburgh car accident lawyer. And even if you did rank for Pittsburgh car accident lawyer, you're not going to get the, the referral client or the client that comes through from that what from that blog post and says, Hey, I remember you from from college. Or I remember you or or your friend from college referred me. And uh he says you're a great, great person to work for. Or, you know, you 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 worked with my aunt and um I need I need that too. Anyway. Uh, the list is vital. And so I like the way that you've organized it here. And so uh, then contacts, of course, managing your contacts, uh, uploading more contacts in here. So showing everybody how to do that is next. So if you've got, uh, I love the Clio. I'm, I don't know if people know that, Molly. Uh, I bet they don't. I bet many people don't know that, um, you know, that we integrate with Clio. Uh, I had a conversation with a client the, just the other day that, um, you know, was pretty much having to go to the cloud. And I said, you should use Clio for your case management. Um, and uh, because it, it, they're a pros prospective client that I'm looking forward to welcoming aboard soon. Uh, and I said, uh, you should use Clio because it's going to interact with DSS. And um, that's something that we're pretty proud of. And um, uh, that way, they just go back and forth and it's easy. And uh, then we get into, then we get into the stuff that you do to syndicate setting up your content, like the stuff that you do to syndicate, the stuff that you do to, well, that, that's pretty good explanation, right? Stuff that you do to syndicate. Yeah, this is how you trigger those automations and you make the automations happen and you make your life easier by setting this up at one point and then you can let it run and then you can assess the value and what it's doing for you and audit those things at some point in the future um, and see how it's working and then make adjustments based on that. So tags are important. Well, anyway, we don't need to get in the detail of it. That's what this training is, is for, is telling you how to do it. But great job on laying that out. And then we get into the content and the different kinds of content on how to write it, right? And there's a lot of different mm -hmm. kinds of content. Look at that list. Oh, look at that. Wow. Way well, to go on that. Look at that. <laughs> there's a lot of... DSS is not, um, you know, you're not going to enter a new section and be totally like turned around and confused by, whoa, I've never seen anything like this before. There's a lot of standard content fields that you're going to fill out for each section of right. DSS, but there are some unique features to each section as well. Like your FAQs are laid out a little bit differently. They have different options. So that's the sort of stuff that we're going to go over in these videos and help you kind of make sense of why does this look different and how do I use this to its cap its full capability? So this is the list that will probably, I see different parts being added here, of course, like SEO. Um, like there's big parts I see uh, in the future for you and probably Matt um about connecting the seo tool the dss seo tool um to how to because that's a big thing is like looking at the seo tool and what the what it reports and going back to dss and making those changes and showing them how to do that we spent a lot of time on 
the coaching calls doing that. And we've actually talked about the kind of incredible power of the SEO tool is that you have so much information that is so useful and so helpful. And for some people, it can be kind of easily misunderstood or misinterpreted. And so there's been, we felt, I think, a little bit guarded about just opening the floodgates to everyone needs to be in this tool and using this information to do X, Y, and Z because we don't want anyone to misinterpret information and do something that they didn't mean to do, thinking that they were following these instructions. So one of the things that we've discussed adding to the training center as its own course is basically like an SEO tool quiz where you're testing like, am I really clearly understanding what is being laid out in front of me and how I'm supposed to use it? You have to pass a quiz. You've got to pass the quiz to get the tool. Yeah. Cause you're we don't funny. want, it's for your own good. We don't want or else you can't to, do it. Right. Yeah. We don't want you to trash your, <laughs> you know, reputation. So you don't by, break your own website. Yeah. Because that has been done before. Well, you can't really break your website with the SEO tool. You've got to go like, but you can you can break your website by deleting content. That's what people have done. That's what. Mm -hmm. So we should add some tutorial well, content. We should add. Uh, there's something else for you. Like I do, I don't do not do this section. How to break your website. The list of no's. Right. Well, and one of the things that the SEO tool is great for is identifying, like if you're getting backlinks to your site that are harmful backlinks, this is a great way to see where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. And you can learn how to disavow those backlinks. That process is something that can definitely be done incorrectly. And that's the sort of thing that we don't want to misinform anybody about We've told I'm you to do it. Your I'm going to do a, uh, a world of marketing and do a Matt Tate. Not do Matt Tate. Does the word promiscuous mean anything to you? No. <laughs> it sounded wrong. Interview Matt I'm Tate. <laughs> interview Matt Tate on the world of marketing about the SEO tool. So we're going to do that one. It's That's such a good, up. yeah, it's such an incredible tool that is. But what we did like the, I want him to start doing videos that can be added here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. I would like everyone to but do this videos. This is great. Exactly. What a great yeah. list. Um, and this is just the beginning. This breaks yep. it down. The different kinds of content. We got, um, you know, your bio pages and here, scroll back down. Oh, I just hit the home so, button because I was going to show go. you the next thing. I can go back. Um, yeah, because bio pages, I think there's... Blog posts, of course. Blog posts are your opinion. That's your mm -hmm. opinion. That's your persuasive, provocative content. So like you read about something or you want to make a statement about something or whatever, that's your blog post. Your FAQs, that's obvious. Frequently asked questions. By the way, make it thick content. Then thin content is no good these days. Google likes it long. So you can get in trouble for thin content, you know, 500, 700 words plus with images, make sure you use your alt tags, keywords in your alt tags. Um, and FAQs are great for those long tail keywords too, yep, for people yeah. who are searching with literally a question, like what are we going to answer the question, accident? which is, yeah. A lot of people are searching with those long tail keywords. Answer the question with a long answer. Don't just answer it with like a real quick uh, one, one, one question, one sentence. That's the word, Tom. One sentence. <laughs> okay. Uh, locations. Those are location pages. So if you have multiple locations, um, you want to set those up individually. News items. Um, it's also a good opportunity. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Location pages are a good opportunity to talk about like what you can expect when you walk into an office or if your office yeah. is in a suite of offices, a location page is a really good opportunity to say, record a video, first of all, giving people a tour of how to get to your office or say, you know, you're going to walk left when you walk into the building and it's the third door on your right. It's just helpful for people to have that information before they arrive. That's a great point. That's um, you can customize 
that's the big thing about DSS. You can customize all your pages, but that's a good, great point about you can customize the location page. So if you have specifics about a particular location, as Molly said, so if you are a doctor, you're a podiatrist and you have like a shoe store or a spa or whatever in certain locations and, and not in other ones, you can change it that way. News items are um, actually because we DSS has been around so long. News items are the thing that was before blogs existed. But now we use them as um, news of the firm or the practice. And so if something is going on, you know, somebody's promoted or somebody joined the firm or somebody's having a baby or something's going on or whatever, you got an award, that's where that would go. Um, article libraries, that is informational. And uh, that's probably one of the most, with the blogs, that's probably one of the most used in your content area and your, you know, where does it go? That's most likely where it goes in your That's library. really, yeah, your evergreen content, things that aren't gonna change over time. It's not, it's not something that you have to worry about updating on a frequent basis or kind of adding a whole bunch of new things because that, that article is suddenly outdated. This is stuff like a, a complete guide to what to do after a car accident. So you're giving them lots of in-depth information on things that probably aren't gonna to change too much, if at all, over a period of time. Yep, and then uh, results, that's your, your results. Those are your success stories, your case results, uh, your, the, the, the results of your patients, um, surgeries, whatever. Uh, that's where you wanna put the success story. And um, that would be linked separately in the navigation and set up differently in the panels to DSS. Service areas are what you do. That's as simple as that. That's the, the, the foundational areas of what you do. I, car accidents, wrongful death, um, uh, DUI, criminal, um, whatever it is, um, podiatry, heel pain, uh, neuropathy. So that's the categorization of what you do, your service areas. That's where every, that's the middle hub. And then the library and the blogs and the, and, and the FAQs and everything else come out of that. So everything is attached to those service areas. Your testimonials, yeah. that's what people say about you. What were you going to say, Molly? Well, I was just going to say the cool thing about D one of the many cool things about DSS is that it's actually built so that your site structure, every page that you add basically improves upon and adds to your site structure, which is a very important technical SEO element for ranking well and for providing a good user experience. So there's kind of this umbrella where your homepage sits at the top of the hierarchy and then you have your practice area pages and then all of your content pieces like your blog posts, your article libraries, that sort of thing, they feed back and forth into your practice area pages. So if I have three blog posts about plantar fasciitis and I have a module assigned to one of those blog posts, it will link people to more information about plantar fasciitis without without me having to take that extra step, extra step to kind of make those connections on my own. DSS is doing it for me and it is a better user experience and it's a better ranking signal basically. Yeah. Um, yes, and then testimonials is what uh, are what people say about you. So you can put them in here. Um, videos as well about what they say. So putting video testimonials in here and then videos are a little bit tricky. And so you explain this in here, I'm sure, about mm -hmm. how videos work in DSS because the videos uh, are content, but videos are, up, are, are added to DSS and then onto YouTube, on, into your YouTube account. So they are connected. And then videos can be put on any page you want. So that's kind of the beauty of videos. So you can add a video on its own page 
and also it goes to YouTube and you can add it to any page you want. So it's like this thing that gives you so many, it's a, it's a gift that keeps giving. It just does so mm -hmm. many cool things. So video, when we're doing our coaching, I always, I like to say, start with video. If you if you like video, start with the video script. And um, especially if you're good, at, if you're a good orator, if you're, and most lawyers are, if they're good at speaking it, then just speak it into, and everybody's doing Zoom calls now anyway, like we're doing it, we're recording it, it's being transcribed right now. We could take this and transcribe this whole thing. And there's no reason why you couldn't, we don't, we couldn't even use this as a video. We, we do. And so this uh, become, could become the beginning of a piece of content. It probably will. It does. And so um, then it becomes a page. And so think of it in, in, you know, for content for your website too. And then you can break it up into smaller pieces of content. And then use this content as you, you know, you're building it with video and we didn't even really get to, um, where's, the, where's offers? Where'd you put offers? Is that up at top? They are. Creating offers and forms. Okay. Yes. Right up there. Campaigns and emails. So, yeah. Um, so offers that's where you're doing, you know, your off. There's so many different kinds of offers, but that's where you can, you know, when we call it offers, we're calling it for books and um, things that people can download. That is different than I'm ready to hire you right now. But, you know, the seven biggest mistakes people make before they hire a lawyer or, you know, heal pain or all the big popular ones. Another offer form that we see a lot and that people have actually had a lot of questions about. So we'll do an instructor led training, which I'll explain in a minute, but um, people have been asking about how do I get a form on my site? So people have to fill it out to access a webinar and then that form adds them to a campaign. And that's what we've covered here. And we'll do one specific to webinars um, for anyone who's interested in hearing that I will um, have it available in the calendar. We'll schedule it for a date that works. And if you can't make it to the live training, you can always access the video. So yeah, that's another great thing about the training center is that we have these live, live trainings where we can interact, you can ask questions. Um, and if you have requests for live trainings, you can also add those to the little suggestion box. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. We're going to pause for a second. Okay. <laughs> Hang tight. All right. We're back. That little quick break. All right. So we were talking about offers and um, how important that is to have those offers because you want to have something else and they're cool and they work and it's tried and true. Don't even ask. They do. Um, you, you know, the, the more the merrier. Honestly, you know, it's really just about resources, about keeping up with them because each of them require a lot of effort. It's not just about the book offer itself, which is in itself a, a big event and thing. Uh, you don't want to do it cheaply or you don't want to do a little one. Uh, we recommend a 30 pager at least, you know, you want to have something substantial. I, of course, recommend something that you mail or something that you actually print and send and give. I actually, you know, recommend it something that you give away a lot of. You want to get your name out there with it. So it's an investment. Uh, you have to create a landing page for it, which is this, creating a campaign, uh, creating the offers and the form page itself. Um, the campaign for it, the email, the follow-up email. We have so many stories of successful clients, uh, our own successful clients that have gotten just 
the best cases of their careers because of these campaigns, right, Molly? I mean, this works. And Glass won that $1.8 million yeah. Yeah, case for the, a, a book he had on MedMal. And it was the follow-up campaign that got them to actually reach back out and talk to him about it. So yeah, it does work. Over six months, yeah. And then, um, well, that story is so frequent. It just had Kevin McManus, same thing, because of this, um, because of his book and his campaign. And I just heard it again. I can't remember from who. But it's the campaigns, because it's the constant reminding over and over again. The book is the hook. The book is the hook. Oh, I like that. I better write that down. Um, book is the hook that brings them in. And then um, you send them to that. They're like, wow. You know, wow, this is so memorable. Whoever you are that sent it. And then they're getting the emails from you. And of course, we're making the assumption that the emails are written well. Uh, of course, we're always making the assumption that this is good content. Mm -hmm. So... But this is how you do it. This is fantastic. All right, let's go back down to the, because all this stuff is back up to our list. That has to do with the list. So we've gotten through content. Yeah. We'll add more about feedback and using the feedback section. And help and support is pretty self-explanatory. Oh, wait, we'll wait we got some here. good, wait, wait, you jumped over some good stuff. You already got some good stuff in here. How to write the best titles, meta descriptions, and yeah. headlines for your website. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good thing for people to know. That's and some of the stuff you'll see. Is. Yeah, and some of the stuff you'll see in the marketing growth plan as well because it applies to both areas. Um, but yeah, why this is there is a cloud there? The why is, where is there a cloud icon there? So this this is not a training video because it's not it's written content that's uh, less descriptive than a training video would be helpful for. So you can tell what kinds of courses you're looking at based on the little icon next to it. My internet is painfully slow right now. But yeah, this is um, really helpful information. It's on our site, but I think it's easier to have everything kind of lumped into one place if this is what you're trying to accomplish is make your website better. So um, rather than having you go search for this information on the website, it's here in the training center. Also, oh, okay. So that just cloud means that there's no video. Mm. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. That's cool. So can I go back to the home screen? Yes, to you can. Okay. Sorry, I keep. No, that's okay. It's. I'm glad that we're having an opportunity to go through all the stuff that you can find uh -huh. here. Um, there's also this little discussion feature, which I showed you before, and this calendar, which is pretty cool. There was a, an instructor-led training on Friday about the new DSS email dashboard. We can share the video about that. But yeah, anytime we have um, instructor-led trainings, which is basically just a scheduled time to go over a feature or to talk about something that we've had a lot of requests for, like, hey, can you do an instructor-led training on creating an offer form. Whatever it is, we're happy to do it. We'll schedule it. You can access it in the calendar, and then you can just join us for that training, ask questions, um, get a little bit more in-person kind of one-on-one -on -one sort of training. Um, and so you can access that stuff here. And we are planning to move the users groups, the live ones into um, the training center as well. So this will be where you go to access the users groups. This is where the user group will be. Mm -hmm. And of course you can get the recordings of the users groups here. You can also send us messages through here and you can always return to DSS. Okay. Okay, go back to the train. All right, go back. All right, so what does the marketing growth plan do again? Well, it's this cool little thing we have. <laughs> the and that's marketing a different growth course? Plan. That's a different course? Yes. So the marketing growth plan is basically, um, for anyone who's unfamiliar with it, it is our marketing philosophy for 
taking your practice where you want it to go. So you have a year long strategy outlined for you in the marketing growth plan. And it starts with your content strategy, goes to your email strategy, goes through all the different things that you need to have a successful online and offline presence and um, drive the kind of business that you want to drive. And what we've done with this course here is basically take, you have these like blueprints and check boxes of everything that you're supposed to do. And then if you access the training center, you can get detailed information on how to properly execute all of those things. So when we say you need to come up with your email marketing strategy, outline that, create those emails, this is going to tell you how to do that and give you tips and tricks for making it better, more effective, figure out why is your email campaign not performing? What's going on there? How do you diagnose that and address the issue? So that's what the marketing growth plan course is all about. That is so cool. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, so this is all different stuff you can implement throughout the course of a year. Um, and this is truly the, okay, click the key on. to a robust this, this well. follows This follows the marketing growth plan. Mm -hmm. All right. So, got it. Go back to home. Here we are. Could I add, because it's interesting what you said earlier when we were talking about the SEO tool, could we add an SEO quiz or course? We can and we will. That's the plan. So we could say, we, here's an SEO course. You have to take this and then you can have the, then you can have the SEO tool. Yeah, and I think it's important just to kind of give people the opportunity to learn not only how to use the tool, but what, what makes SEO so important? What makes it effective? How do I, what is SEO? Like, what does that mean for my website and my business? Why is everyone so hung up on it? And is it that important? I think this is the sort of thing that some people just need very kind of ground level understanding of. And some people are like, oh no, I'm very familiar with it. I just want you to teach me how to use these tools effectively. So that's kind of what we're hoping to do is cover everything that anyone could need on DSS, SEO, the most important parts of your marketing plan. Yeah, I guess the, I don't mean quiz. It's not the word, right word. It's training. It's teaching them. Well, I'm still, or filling I'm in still gaps. voting for a quiz. <laughs> oh, Molly. All right. So what is, uh, what is the user group? Is that just uh, the list of recordings? So is that all the past? So recordings? right. This is the list of recordings under this section. Yep. And these are just some of the more recent ones that we've done. So we have a user's group tomorrow, actually. Um, and once that's done and recorded, we'll add it here because we haven't launched the training center to everyone yet. Um, we're, we're going to do this, users group in our normal format. So we'll do it over a Zoom meeting. You don't need to access the training center to get to it. But then for August and moving forward, we will do the users groups in the training center to encourage people to use it. And it's an easier way to just get everybody in the same location at the same time so that they can ask questions and have it be a little bit more engaging. And I think that's something that people need from the users groups is the opportunity to raise their hand and say, Hey, can I ask you a specific question about X, Y, or Z? Yeah, this is another important place to raise your hand and say, I'd like to know more about how to do such and such. For sure. And we tend we're to, we're totally willing to tell you how to do things. And, um, you know, we're, all you have to do is ask. We're not hiding anything here. And all you have to do is ask and uh, we're happy to tell you and um, put it here. Mm -hmm. If you're, if you're wanting to know, I'm sure other people are wanting to know, but that's the point in this training center and um, great job, Molly. Thanks. So it's the URL is training.fosterwebmarketing.com. Yes. 
Yeah, but you can't access it unless you're in DSS because it's specific oh, to users. our users. So uh, yeah, it makes it a uh, All right, so you've got to log into DSS. Yep. Oh, so when are we turning on, we're turning on this week? So you might not be able to do it just today. We'll make an announcement, I'm sure. Oh yeah. And uh, we'll let a, you know. Put a little a, a, a banner or something on the website or whatever we do. Whatever marketing does, whatever the boss says over at marketing. Yeah, we'll let you know how to access it. We'll make it easy. Um, and we would love your feedback because this is, again, it's for you. We want to make this better for you. So how do they give is, feedback? You can give us feedback. You can either respond directly to us over email or you can give us feedback in the discussion section. Um, but, and you like also how as email. users are able to like Sorry. your email? Who's yeah, it? you can email me, molly at fosterwebmarketing.com. Or you can come to the discussion section. You can start a new topic if you have a question like, hey, has anybody tried this thing? How did it work for you? Um, or you can just say, hey, I have feedback in general. Simple as that. Very simple, yep. Trying to make it easy for you. That's a goal. <laughs> All right, Molly. Well, thank you so much. You have anything else? No, I think that's it. Um, we're excited to launch this thing and um, we really would like everyone's feedback. So please let us know what you think. Well, wonderful job, Molly. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right, everybody, you guys, as soon as we launch this thing, which it's this week, Need you to rush into DSS and get on that training center and tell us what you think. Get in there and uh, start using this great tool that we've been working on for so long and we continue to add to it. For you, it is for you. All right. It has been Tom and Molly at the World of Marketing. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great summer. Thanks. And uh, stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.